Hey what's up guys welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code and in this video guys we're going to learn how to use JavaFX checkbox. So the checkbox is used to provide more than one choices to the user. So it can be used in a scenario where the user is you know prompted to select more than one option or the user wants to select multiple options. So, so for example, a user is allowed to, se to select uh, multiple sports that he likes. So for example, basketball, baseball, or any other sports available in the option. So we could do that. We could, you know, use the JavaFX checkbox. And it is quite different from the uh, radio button in the sense that... Um, we can select more than one checkboxes in a scenario. So in this particular video, guys, I'm going to teach you how to use the checkbox in JavaFX. So I have here the checkbox demo pack, uh, I mean project. And I, I do have like three files, the checkbox demo, which is the main file. And I do have the fxml that, um, fxml document that fxml. So this is basically uh, the file that will hold our layout and of course we have here the controller for our fxml file so basically guys we will be editing our fxml file so to you know to include the checkbox element into our window so i'm going to open up the fxml document so this is how our fxml document looks like and we have here the default layout and of course the uh, default elements so we could um, remove this the button and of course the label and we could add the checkbox by searching it from our library so for example checkbox and then we could add different or um, few or several checkboxes here so I'm just going to drag and drop here the checkbox and of course guys you could you know add this checkboxes to different layouts so for example you want it to or you want to add this into the v box or h box so it depends on your preference so for now we could set the label for this checkboxes so the first one so um in this particular example guys we're going to allow the user to select different sports so the first one is basketball the second one will be the um, baseball, soccer, and um, maybe cricket. Okay, and then we could add um, FX ID to this um, checkboxes. All we have to do is go to um, code after clicking the checkbox or after selecting the checkbox so the, this is the first one so it should be um, for example the name or the ID will be CB1 CB2 and then CB3 and CB4 okay and then of course guys we could uh, we could add action or on action event to this so this will be um, check checkbox or check event something like this so we'll just copy and paste this and do the same for the other checkbox okay and in this particular example guys what we want to achieve is every time the user clicks on the checkbox there will be a display of the selected item and of course how many checkboxes are selected so in order for us to achieve that let's add the label for our application so the first one is the uh, actual item selected so we could resize this okay and then we could you know add this lbl items okay and then we could add another one for our um, number of items selected because you know we could check 
or we could check if the user um, selected different or multiple items so, so for example his um, choice like basketball baseball or soccer or cricket or it doesn't matter but for as long as uh, he selected multiple items so for now this will be um, the number of items so we could add the uh, FX ID as LBL number items okay okay so we could remove the text or the default text by clicking this and then go to properties and then remove this text option here and then do the same with the other one and of course guys we could always save this and let's go back to our NetBeans IDE and here we could um, right click our FXML document and make a controller just to update our controller and then of course it's going to add the elements that we have from the scene builder so we have here the checkbox 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then we also have label items and label number items okay so we're just going to remove this handle button action so uh, because we're not going to use that and this one also we could remove this okay and in here guys we could um, check if the user selected the elements so for example this one okay uh, if the user selected the checkbox 1, checkbox 2, 3, or 4. So we could use the if statement. So if cb1 dot uh, selected or is selected, okay, we have the available method for that. Okay, and then um, open and close curly braces. So basically the item will be displayed once the user clicks on any of the items that we have so what we can do here is declare a counter so in count and this will be the counter for um, our how many items the user has selected okay so in count and then of course we need to add a string um, variable that will hold all the items that has been selected by the user so this will be string and then items okay so we could just clear this as empty for now and of course here we could say count plus plus basically we're just you know counting the the elements that has been selected by the user so we could uh, increment it by one and then the other one will be items that has been selected and then we could you know plus equals and then cb1 dot uh, get text so this will just get the label from our um, check boxes okay and then we could uh, add a new line to this so backslash n and then of course we could do the same for the other items so if cb1 is selected cb2 is selected so we're going to count again cb3 and of course cb4 okay so again cb1 cb2 cb3 and cb4 so or uh, all we are doing here is um, getting the count of the selected um, elements or check boxes and then getting the items that has been selected and then at the end of this checking then we could display the um, number of items selected so LBL and then as you can remember it is the LBL no items or number of items and then set text so this will be count and then we could add a string to this and we could do the same for our label items then set text and it should display the items that has been selected by the user so save this and then we could run our file or i mean our project and we should get this particular window 
where we can see the options of sports. So every time we click on uh, the checkbox, it should display the count and then the label of that particular item. So you could do the same for baseball and then soccer and then cricket. But for now, I think it's not it's not getting the um, right elements. That's because we're using CB1 all throughout our program. So we could change this into CB2, CB3, and CB4. Okay. So save and then run again our project. And it should, you know, work now as expected. So click on basketball, baseball, soccer, and then cricket. Okay. So that's how our program works and that's how we can implement checkboxes inside our JavaFX program. So if you have questions guys, please let me know in the comment section below. So I think that's all there is to it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.